Hey there, today we are covering kind of some of the steps that I go through once I initially install a Windows box and all the privacy settings, things that I change and whack out and some of the display settings, uh, other things like that that I take care of. And let's cover that now. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show and hey, kind of a request of after I install Windows, uh, what do I do? What things do I change? What things do I update? Um, so here we've got, this is a Windows 10 Enterprise. I've kind of moved to Enterprise because we get a few more features a little bit faster and I never know maybe one of those features that I would actually want, uh, which doesn't happen often, but okay. So here, first of all is uh, we go here and look, this is, I run to PC, properties and first thing I do is I take go to advanced system settings go to the performance settings and I just whack everything I don't care I don't care about fade in I don't care about shadows I don't care about smooth edges green fonts or animations in the taskbar like that's you're just annoying me now right I mean I don't care I want I want the computer to do to be out of the way and not be in my way so the problem with that, although, is if you see I have this uh, Explore window here open in front of this dialog box, the properties box, well, you can't, at some point, you can't see where the edge of it is. So if you try and click one of them, you're going to click wrong and then click the other. So they always, they're always fading into each other. And that's, that's a QC thing. I mean, I think, would think that you can do some quality control that if someone sets the performance all the way off, that you would leave the because here the the you know Windows properties of the computer has this little line around it, right? You can still re change it and stretch it, and I know right where the edge is. But here in this box, I got no clue. There's no clue. I could you know you got to try and dig around and try and find it to get the the drag arrow to show up. So to fix that, we go to personalize, go to colors down here to the bottom and say title bars and window borders get the colors so then when I'm here I can see where the edge and then the bottom of the window actually has a little blue edge so that if it's on top of something I can see right where to drag it and and move it around okay so also the desktop background I, I take I don't want a picture I just want a solid color and some kind of base color that that makes it easy to see because often when I'm working on computers and a remote desktop, I might remote desktop in from my, from my iPad. If I'm remoting in from my iPad, there's no setting in the remote desktop app on iPad to remove the background. You can't say don't show background. So what's happening is all of the detail from the background is being trying to be sent over your RDP connection. Well, I don't want that. I just want, you know, my data to be displayed. I want my windows to be displayed. I don't need some crazy background coming over that Microsoft decides I need, you know, by default. And since we're there, we can come here and take the background is going to be uh, show lock screen background picture on the sign on screen. Let's just turn that off because we don't need the background and everything else and we can just change that don't need fun facts or anything else just turn all that stuff off i don't need microsoft giving me and digging me any suggestions which means it's sending data back to microsoft i don't need any of that at all so no okay so we've kind of cleaned that up a little bit also when i come to creating an account uh, microsoft always says oh we need you to create a microsoft account no we don't so we just create a local account, not a Microsoft account. And they hide it a lot and it gets harder and harder to sometimes you have to jump through hoops, you know, don't click this, click domain join when you're installing so that it only lets you create a local account. So we don't don't need our email and other things going off to Microsoft. And we don't need our settings synced or anything else. Don't need that. I need it out of the way. Okay. So there is 
there are some privacy settings there's, um, that even though when I installed, I checked the box that says, you know, they give you a panel of like eight different options for location and other things. And you set all those to no, you still come here to privacy and things are on. So Microsoft is basically when you're doing that, they're basically fooling you. They're kind of lying. Oh, we're not going to take your information. If you just turn all these things off, then we're not going to track you very well. No, they're hundred percent tracking you. So these are some things that I will turn off. I have downloaded um, the shut up 10 is what I use to quickly and easily turn all of this stuff off. So we're just going to go actions, apply recommended settings. Boom. Yes. Okay. Clicked all that stuff off. So do it. Then I come back here and I add some more things to say, oh, biometric features. There's no biometrics on this computer. I don't need app notifications because I'm not using app notifications. Uh, access to local language for browsers. That's, uh, well, that's fine. Disable sending URLs from apps to Windows Store. Why would I want that? I don't want that. Um, I'm not using any apps that access the camera or microphone or anything. I'm not using apps. These are all apps from the App Store. Um, regular programs, Windows desktop programs. This is not what this is talking about. So, And they prohibit apps from running in the background. Boom, we're gone with that. Disable internet access of Windows Media Digital. Yeah, get, get rid of that. Disable apps access to wireless connections. Well, they don't need wireless connections. Disable apps loosely coupled devices. No, that's like beacons and stuff. Disable form suggestions. Yes, disable sites saving protected media licenses on my device. I don't need that. I'm using Google for stuff. Do not optimize web search on the taskbar. Oh my gosh. Disable Microsoft Edge launch in the background. Of course, disable that. Disable loading start at new pages in the background. Of course, disable smart screen filter. Now that I might want to have on because that kind of helps you um, with sites that you're browsing. Disable sensors for location. So I, I don't really need to know my location. No, disable access, app access to your location. No, don't need app, this is my location. Uh, activate deferring of upgrades. So that I keep track of, so that's that's fine. This is the Windows Update stuff, which I guess I will leave on. Uh, don't show recently open items, and that's actually kind of an annoying. Disable ads in Windows. Disable ads. Oh my gosh, we don't have ads yet, but I'm sure ads are coming. Jeez. Disable OneDrive access to network before logging. Yes, I'm not using OneDrive. Disable OneDrive. I hate that it always comes up. I'm not using it. Hello, go away. Disable Microsoft SpyNet membership. I don't need that. Disable submitting data samples. Yes, we don't need to give them any information. Disable reporting of malware. Yes. Okay, Windows Defender we want to leave on, of course. I have to have some kind of minor protection. Um, disables extension of Windows 10 search with Bing. Yeah, I don't need that. Disable key management server. Oh, yeah, I don't need that. Disable automatic download of update of map data. I don't use their maps. Disable unsolicited network traffic on the offline map. Oh my gosh. Disable people, yes. Disable search box, yes. Disable network connectivity status indicator. That's fine. So, okay. Well, good settings. Save. Okay. So. Now, I think we need to reboot. You want to close? Please note settings will possibly revert. If Windows had run it again. Okay, Windows updates can screw you over. Of course it can. Of course Windows updates can mess with you. Windows updates can also make it so your computer never boots. How's that for fun, Microsoft? I haven't had any of those problems that they've shown, but... Man, I can't believe that they would let something out and have people's computers black screen and do other crazy things. So I got no suggestions. I got no nothing for my login screen. Nice little blue plain thing. I may go, if I had time, I would go and pick an image of the main background that's just one solid color instead of being the little uh, ocean-y thing. Okay, so now we have no search thing. We have nothing else. We don't have... Uh, any OneDrive coming up, so that's good. Um, what else are we going to do? Uh, let's see. So now we've got all these apps, so uh, we're going to unpin that. 
We're going to unpin that. We're going to uninstall Microsoft Office. Okay, and I don't need the 3D viewer, so we're going to un I could I could do a script that does a lot of this stuff. So there is a script that I have. Uh, let's see. Let me go here. Go to Google. Go to Keep. Go here. Okay. So I think PowerShell is here. Click here and go. PowerShell, right click, run as administrator. Yes. Okay. And we're going to do the get AppX package. Come on, there we go. Pipe out grid view pack pass through pipe remove apex package okay this is going to give me a nice window that has a bunch of all these different apex things so i can just hold my control key down uh, i don't need the cloud experience host uh, I don't need Cortana. I don't want Edge. I don't. This computer doesn't need the camera. I uh, don't need Windows Photo. Uh, what else do I not need? Some of these you that won't let you. I don't need the Skype back. I don't need the Sketch. I don't need Zoom video. I don't need your phone. I don't need Maps. I don't need Windows Alarms. I don't need Bio Enrollment. Uh, I don't need the Lock app. I mean, you can select all, but often it won't. Don't need the Xbox stuff. Don't need the sound recorder. Uh, that's the Windows calculator. That's in the new web app style, which is which is fine. I don't need the web feedback. I don't need print 3D or wallet or people or One Connect. Uh, uh, what else is there? I don't need mixed reality. Some of these will not install, unfortunately. I don't need sticky notes or software collection. Get started or get help or Bing weather. I don't need any of those. So take Microsoft Paint because that doesn't need to be on here. So once you get all those selected in this, then you click OK. And then it's going to run through and try and uninstall them. Some of them, like it says, there's some red here where it's actually not able to uninstall them. But a lot of them it is. You can see it's up there chewing away. It makes it an easy way to kind of get rid of a lot of the stuff in the start menu uh, that you don't want in one fail swoop instead of having to right click remove right click remove right click uninstall right click uninstall or finding which ones you can uninstall or not i mean you can try and select all and get rid of them but um sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't sometimes it can crash your system so kind of select the ones that you pretty sure you don't want um so here it's pretty now we're pretty close i mean the you know Connect, I don't think I can uninstall. Um, mail, I can uninstall. There we go. So a couple of them we still can uninstall and get rid of. Um, so there we go. So I do have, this is a virtual box, so I did install the virtual box guest additions. Um, OneDrive, uh, we can uninstall OneDrive. Boom, uninstall. Say bye-bye OneDrive. There we go. Okay, so the next things I would do after this um, is go get the applications that I want. Like if I'm gonna be using Chrome, I've kind of been switching back and forth between Chrome and Firefox and the new Microsoft Edge, which is built on Chromium. Um, so it just depends on what I'm doing. I'll switch it back and forth between those three uh, different browsers. Um, the Firefox is probably the most privacy centric. So if you're doing something you want to be private, you can open a an incognito, you know, Firefox window if you're doing that. Um, so I always have Firefox installed, um, and then Chrome because a lot of my stuff is running in, you know, Google. We all have hooks into Google, and Google knows too much about us. And I'd I'd like to cut down what information I give to Google, but um, that. You have to weigh some of the benefits, you know, back and forth. I mean, Microsoft, I, I don't get much benefit, right? I'm not in the Microsoft world. I'm not in, in the Microsoft ecosystem. So clearing all of Microsoft's uh, stuff out, I don't mind. Google, I mean, YouTube, my email, my calendar, I mean, a lot of different things are 
up in in Google that I use to sync between all my devices and stuff. So I kind of need to keep that. But um, but anyway, that's kind of the basic rundown of what I go through uh, to start with to get a system up and fairly clean and running and uh, so that I can actually get down to using what applications I want and not having Microsoft be in my way. All right. Hopefully that'll help you out and stay safe and stay healthy wherever you are. All right. Take care.